Religious affiliation in Sweden Church of Sweden Other Protestants Eastern Orthodox Churches Catholic Church Other Christian Denominations Islam Other Religions Unaffiliated Umeå City Church Religion in Sweden has, over the years, become increasingly diverse. Christianity was the religion of virtually all of the Swedish population from the 12th to the early 20th century, but it has rapidly declined throughout the late 20th and early 21st century. Christianity came to Sweden as early as the 9th century mainly as a result of an expansion in trade. The ancient Nordic religions were slowly replaced. Several centuries later all monarchs were Christian and Christianity became the established official religion. The church belonged to the Catholic Church until 1527 when the Swedish state church was established as a Protestant church based on Lutheran principles, following the Protestant Reformation enacted by Martin Luther which converted most of Germanic Europe. The Lutheran Church of Sweden was formed and remained the official religion of the Christian state until the turn of the 21st century. In recent years, the Swedish religious landscape has become increasingly diverse, with Christians comprising in 2019 some 62. 9% of the total population and rising numbers of people of other religions and people who don't belong to any church. The Lutheran Church of Sweden, which was the state religion until 2000, is by far the largest Christian denomination but is facing a continuous decline in registered membership 56. 4% of the total population in 2019, 2. 9% less than two years earlier in 2017 other minor Christian denominations include free churches, the Catholic Church and Eastern Orthodox Churches, while members of other religions are mostly Muslims. Buddhists, Hinduists, and Jews, whose numbers grew significantly with recent international immigration. Gamle Uppsala, the center of worship in Sweden until the temple was destroyed in the late 11th century. Before the 11th century, Swedes practiced Norse religion, worshipping a variety of Germanic deities. An important religious center was the temple at Uppsala. The shape and location of this temple is sparsely documented, but it is referenced in the Norse sagas and Saxogrammaticus Hesta Danorm, and is also described by Adam of Bremen. It was probably destroyed by King Ingold I in 1087 during the last known battle between the pagans and the Christians. While Norse religion was officially abandoned with the Christianization of Scandinavia, belief in many spirits of Norse mythology such as Tomter, trolls, elves and dwarves lived on for a long time in Scandinavian folklore. The historical Vadstena Abbey of the Catholic Order of the Bridgeteens, founded by Bridget of Sweden. The oldest evidence of Christian burial sites in Sweden are dated to the 6th century, but they are very few in number. The earliest documented campaign to Christianize the Swedes was made by the monk in Skar. Making his first visit to Birka in 828-829, he was granted permission to build a church. In 831, he returned home and became Archbishop of Hamburg Bremen, with responsibility for Christianity in the north. Around 850, he came back to Birka, where the original congregation had been shattered. And Scar tried to re-establish it, but it only lasted a few years. Christianity first gained a hold in Vastergotland, probably due to mercantile ties to the Christian Anglo-Saxon kingdoms in England. Remnants of a 9th-century church building has recently been excavated in Varnum. The Diocese of Skara, which is the oldest diocese in Sweden, emerged under the Archdiocese of Hamburg-Bremen, in the late 10th century. According to Adam of Bremen, the Christian king Olaf Skotkanung, who ruled from c. 995 to c. 1022 was forced to limit Christian activities to the western province. When King Stenkiel ascended to the throne in 1060 Christianity was firmly established throughout most of Sweden, although the people of Upland, and probably Södermanland, resisted the new religion. The last king adhering to the old religion was Blot Sven, who reigned 1084 to 1087. A handful of local saints, folk saints and clerics were allegedly martyred as late as the 1120s, most of them in Södermanland and Upland. Under the reign of Eric the Saint Christianity became an ideological factor of the state, and the first Swedish crusade took place, it was a military expedition aimed at converting the Finns to Christianity and conquering Finland as Swedish territory. Duh. A national church of Sweden was not organized until 1164, when the first Archbishop of Uppsala received his pallium from the Archbishop of Lund. Pre-Reformation Swedish Catholic religious leaders, including Bridget of Sweden, founder of the continuously functioning Catholic Vadstena Abbey, continue to be held in high regard by the population as a whole. Her nunnery at Vadstena is one of Sweden's preeminent tourist attractions. Ruins of Alvestra Abbey in Ogshog. 
Various ruined medieval Catholic monasteries such as this one stand as testimonies of the appropriation of Catholic properties by the Swedish state during the Protestant Reformation. Shortly after Gustav Vesa was elected king in 1523, he asked the Pope to confirm Johannes Magnus as Archbishop of Sweden, replacing Gustav Tralla, who had supported the Danish King Christian II and was convicted for treason. When the Pope refused, Gustav Vesa, he himself a proponent of a Renaissance biblical humanism, started to promote the Swedish Lutheran reformers Olaus, Laurentius Petri, and Laurentius Andrea. Gustav Trollo was eventually forced into exile, and soon all ecclesiastical property was transferred to the crown. In 1531, Laurentius Petri was appointed by the crown to become the first Lutheran primate of Sweden, and was ordained by five Catholic bishops without papal assent. The ties with Rome were irreversibly cut in 1536, when canon law was abolished. Originally, no changes were made to official church doctrine, and the episcopal organization was retained. Gradually, in spite of popular protests against the introduction of Lutheri, teachings were aligned with continental Lutheranism. Calvinism was, otherwise, refuted as heresy at the Synod of Stockholm in 1565. In order to appease the Holy See, King John III of Sweden, one of Gustav Vesa's sons, took measures to bring the Church of Sweden to a theological position influenced by George Cassander. But, in the heat of controversy, such a compromise position did not achieve its intent of reunion. However, after his death, his brother, Duke Charles, summoned the Uppsala Synod in 1593, which declared the Holy Scriptures the sole guideline for faith, with four documents accepted as faithful and authoritative explanations of it, the Apostles' Creed. The Nicene Creed, the Athanasian Creed, and the unaltered Augsburg Confession of 1530. The Uppsala Synod also reinstated the Swedish Church Ordinance of 1572, which remained in use until 1686. The move put Charles at odds with the heir to the throne, his nephew Sigismund, who was raised in the Catholic faith. Although Sigismund promised to uphold Lutheranism, Duke Charles's aspirations to power led to the war against Sigismund, a power struggle that was effectively decided at the Battle of Stangebro in 1598, in favor of Charles and Protestantism. During the era following the Protestant Reformation, usually known as the period of Lutheran Orthodoxy, small groups of non-Lutherans, especially Calvinist Dutchmen, the Moravian Church and Walloon immigrants from the southern Netherlands, played a significant role in trade and industry, and were quietly tolerated as long as they kept a low profile. The Sami, who originally had their own shamanistic religion, were converted to Lutheranism by Swedish missionaries in the 17th and 18th centuries. Citizens of foreign nations, mainly Russians, were granted freedom to practice Eastern Orthodox Christianity since the Treaty of Stolbavo in 1617. Anglican and Calvinist foreigners were granted freedom to practice their religions in Stockholm and Gothenburg. Similar liberties were granted Catholics in 1781, and an apostolic vicar was sent to Sweden in 1783. In order to curb Pietism, several royal decrees and parliament acts were issued in the 18th century, they forbade Swedish citizens to engage in practices other than mandatory Lutheran Sunday Mass and daily family devotions. Without the presence of a Lutheran clergyman, public religious gatherings were forbidden. It remained illegal until 1860 for Lutheran Swedes to convert to another confession or religion. In 1860 it became legal to leave the Church of Sweden for the purpose of becoming a member of another officially recognized religious denomination. From 1951, it became legal to leave the Church, without providing any reason. From 1951 to 1977 all religious institutions could only be established with the permission of the Crown. A Temple of Chinese Buddhism in Rosersburg, Stockholm. Church of Scientology in Malmo. The Constitution of Sweden provides for freedom of religion, and the government generally respects this right in practice. The government at all levels seeks to protect this right in full and does not tolerate its abuse, either by governmental or private actors. The rights and freedoms enumerated in the Constitution include the rights to practice one's religion and protection of religious freedom. The laws concerning religious freedoms are generally observed and enforced at all government levels and by the courts in a non-discriminatory fashion. Legal protections cover discrimination or persecution by private actors. In the early 2000s about 80% of Swedes belonged to the Church of Sweden. By the end of 2019, this figure had fallen to 56.4%. Other religious organizations keep count of their registered membership, and as reported in the table, as of 2019 the largest religious denominations after the Church of Sweden were the officially registered Muslims. 
Members of the Orthodox Church, Catholics and members of the Uniting Church in Sweden. 8. Recognized religious denominations, in addition to the Church of Sweden, raise revenues through member contributions made through the national tax system. All recognized denominations are entitled to direct government financial support, contributions made through the national tax system, or a mix of both. Certain Christian holidays are national holidays. School students from minority religious backgrounds are entitled to take relevant religious holidays. No recognition or registration is required to carry out religious activity. Religious groups that want to receive government aid may apply for it. Education about all major world religions is compulsory in public schools. Parents may send their children to religious charter schools, all of which receive school vouchers, provided they adhere to government guidelines on core academic curriculum. The Office of the Ombudsman Against Ethnic Discrimination investigates claims of discrimination due to race, skin color, national or ethnic origin, or religion. Discrimination on religious grounds is illegal, including discrimination in the workplace and in the provision of public and private services. In 2017, the Pew Research Center found in their Global Attitude Survey that 59.9% of the Swedes regarded themselves as Christians, with 48.7% belonging to the Church of Sweden, 9.5% were unaffiliated Christians, 0.7% were Pentecostal Protestants, 0.4% were Catholics, the Eastern Orthodox and the Congregationalist were the 0.3% each. Unaffiliated people were the 35. 0% divided in 18. 8% atheists, 11. 9% nothing in particular and 4. 3% agnostics. Muslims were the 2. 2 2% and members of other religions were the 2. 5%. In 2016 the International Social Survey Program found that 70. 2% of the Swedish population declared to belong to a Christian denomination, with the Church of Sweden being the largest church accounting for the 65. 8% of the respondents, the Free Church was the second largest church accounting for the two. 8%, the Roman Catholics were the zero. 7% and the Eastern Orthodox were the zero. 5%, members of other Christian denominations comprise the zero. 4% of the total population. A further 28. 5% declared to have no religion, 1. 1% to be Muslim and 0. 3% declared to belong to other religions. In 2015 the Eurobarometer found that Christianity was the religion for 47. 6% of the respondents, with Protestantism being the main denomination with 36. 5%, followed by other Christians with 8. 6%, Catholics with 1. 6% and Eastern Orthodox with 0. 8%. 31. 0% of the sample declared to be agnostic and 19. 0% declared to be atheist. Members of foreign said Sweden holding a sacrifice. Germanic heathenry, the contemporary continuation of ancient Germanic religion, is represented by various organizations, including the Nordicasa community. The Swedish foreign said assembly and the community for Nordic faith. The Nordicasa community, despite being the most recently founded amongst the three, has quickly grown to become the largest heathen organization in Sweden. Budarama Temple in Torsby. In 2019, there were 11,125 formal affiliated Buddhists in Sweden, comprising 0.1% of the total population. Side view of Uppsala Cathedral, the headquarters of the Church of Sweden. In 2019 there were 6,498,434 formal affiliated Christians in Sweden, comprising 62. 9% of the total population. A survey by the Pew Research Center found in spring 2016 that 66. 7% out of a sample of 1,000 Swedes claimed to be Christians. Protestantism as of 2016, 6,484,203 people, or 64. 9% of the total population, were registered members of the various Protestant denominations in Sweden. Church of Sweden The Church of Sweden is the largest Christian church in Sweden, and also the largest religious body. The Church professes the Lutheran faith and is a member of the Porvo Communion. As of 2019 it has 5,817,634 members, 56. 4% of the Swedish population, although surveys show different figures, ranging from 24% to 52. 1%. To 67. 3%. Until 2000 it held the position of state religion, and most Swedes were baptized at birth, 
Until 1996 all newborns with at least one parent being a member of the Church of Sweden were also registered as members of the Church. Yet the membership is declining rapidly, about 1% each year, for the most recent years even 2%, falling from 95% in 1972 and 82% in 2000. The number of both new baptisms and members has declined since. Indeed, according to official statistics, as of 2019, the Church of Sweden, by law, is organized in the following manner, Protestant Free Churches The 19th century saw the arrival of various evangelical free churches. And, towards the end of the century secularism, leading many to distance themselves from church rituals. Leaving the Church of Sweden became legal with the so-called Dissenter Law of 1860, but only under the provision of entering another denomination. The right to stand outside any religious denomination was established in the Law on Freedom of Religion in 1951. Today, the Swedish Free Church Council organizes free churches in Sweden, belonging to various Protestant denominations, Calvinist, Pentecostal, and others. In total the member churches have around 250,000 members. Baptists, Methodists, and the Mission Covenant Church of Sweden merged in 2011 into a new denomination, the Uniting Church in Sweden. It is the largest member church in the Swedish Free Church Council, with approximately 65,000 members. One of the Baptist denominations, the Evangelical Free Church in Sweden, has remained an independent denomination outside this merger. Catholicism Catholic Church of Christ the King in Uteborg. A Jehovah's Kingdom Hall in Christingham. Most Catholics in Sweden are of Slavic, South American or Middle Eastern origin. As of 2019, legally registered Catholics in Sweden were 123,930, comprising 1.2% of the total population, the same percentage was found in a spring 2016 survey in Sweden. Jehovah's Witnesses According to the 2015 Yearbook of Jehovah's Witnesses, there are 22,730 active members in Sweden, and 36,270 people attended their annual memorial of Christ's death. This number includes active members and guests. Orthodox Christianity Multiple Orthodox jurisdictions exist in Sweden, including but not limited to the Greek and Serbian Orthodox churches. There is also a substantial presence of Coptic and Ethiopian Christians. The Serbian Orthodox Church has several parishes in Sweden, under jurisdiction of Serbian Orthodox Eparchy of Britain and Scandinavia. The Church of the Goths has a presence in Gotland though it is not currently recognized by any other Orthodox jurisdictions. As of 2019, legally registered Eastern Orthodox Christians were 159,502 and they were the second largest Christian sect in Sweden, comprising the one. 5% of the total population. The Baha'is claim about 1,000 Baha'is and 25 local assemblies in Sweden from Umeå in the north to Malmo in the south. In November 2009 the Swedish paper Vesterbotten's career and reported that 25 local non-profit Baha'i organization had changed their organizational form to religious communions. The central Baha'i secretariat in Stockholm stated at the time that the Baha'i faith in Sweden had 1,003 members. The Association of Religion Data Archives estimated some 6,200 Baha'is in 2005. Korsnesgard, Main Building 2014. IRF 2005 reports that there are between 7,000 and 10,000 Hindus. Stockholm Mosque. Islam entered Sweden primarily through immigration from countries with large Muslim populations in the late 20th century. The Baltic Tatars were the first Muslim group in modern Sweden. In 2009, the U.S. Department of State estimated that there were 450,000 to 500,000 Muslims in Sweden, around 5% of the total population. Sweden's official statistics counted 200,445 formally affiliated Muslims in 2019. The U.S. Department of State's Sweden 2014 International Religious Freedom Report set the 2014 figure at around 6% of the total Swedish population. In 2017, a Pew Research report documented Muslim population at 8. 1% of the total population of Sweden of 10 million. Malmo Synagogue. The official Council of Swedish Jewish Communities estimates about 20,000 ethnic Jews in Sweden by Halokut criteria. Of them, about 8,148 were members of a Jewish religious congregation in 2019. Stockholm has the largest community and boasts a primary school, a kindergarten, a library, a bi-monthly publication and a weekly Jewish radio program. Other cities like Malmo, Gothenburg, Boros, Helsingborg, Lund, and Uppsala have Jewish communities as well. Synagogues can be found in Stockholm, Uteborg, Malmo, and in Norrköping. 
Media related to religion in Sweden at Wikimedia Commons. Thanks for watching.